Hi everyone. This time I'm coming to you with a short tutorial on something that I get asked about a lot. That's how do you place a camera in the level and select that as your main camera. Now you can see here I've got the standard uh, level A from the Virtual Studio example by Epic. And uh, I've turned most of the lights off in this uh, and I'll explain the reason for that later. It's just a fun little thing you can see if you stick around to the end of this. Uh, you see here I have three uh, different cameras placed in the level. That's what they all look like. And now I'm going to show you how to start up with camera one selected and also switch between all three cameras with keyboard keys. And that's done with a simple level blueprint. This is the basic blueprint. You can see on begin play I use set view target with blend and I select the first cine camera actor. The get player controller you have to do to supply an argument to get set view target with blend. So what's this, what this is going to do is when I press play, we'll see it switch to camera one. And there it is. So that's pretty simple and so as not to make this too short, uh, I wanted to show something else. Now if you move, if I move over here in this blueprint, you'll see I've basically taken that first set view target with blend and duplicated it two more times. Uh, one for camera actor two and one for camera actor three. So now I can use the keyboard keys to switch between cameras. And what that looks like is this. We're on camera one and I have to click in the window here to so that it takes my keyboard input. Here's camera two and here's camera three. And I can jump around all I want by pressing the keys. And then just for fun I'm going to show you why I have all the lights in the studio turned off. I'll go back to the blueprint and I'll move up a bit to this other part of it. Now in this one I say when the L keyboard key is pressed, I get all act actors of class spotlight. Now the rest of this, I probably don't need to explain too, too thoroughly because you can look at it and figure it out, but what it is is it's a simple loop. It loops over every spotlight in the scene, uses set visibility to turn it on, and then use play sound at location to play a sound. And then this just increments the number of the light I'm working on and iterates over everything until it's touched every single light in the scene. Now I'll show you what that looks like. We'll go into the level here. And as you can see I can still flip around to the cameras. But uh, now I can have uh, them turn the lights on one by one, and there's 70 of them. So that's just a bit of fun at the end. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post in the comments.